Well, good morning. Um, I'm Teresa Hardy from Delaware State University. And Delaware State is a HBCU land grant um, institution, and we serve, our mission is to serve underrepresented minorities. Delaware is a little different in that we have about a, a, a diverse population. We have about 68% African Americans, 11% white, probably six or seven percent international, and the rest of uh, others. So we were established in 1891. We just celebrated our 125th year last Sunday. And we're gonna celebrate all year long to next May 15th, 2017. And what I'm gonna talk about is things that we're doing now to make sure we stay here for another 125 years and serve our student population. So I'm gonna flip back and forth between a couple slides. What we've done at Delaware State is it is our job to make sure if we agree to admit students that they do indeed graduate. Um, gain for employment, do they get jobs, go to the military, whatever the case may be. So <clears throat> what we've done is develop what we call My DSU IDP. And that is every freshman that walks in the door at Delaware State University has a personal advisor, okay? And that person is responsible for the success of Delaware, of that Delaware student. And in that personal um, advisor, a development plan, we have student profile. So I know where the student came from, which high school, where they graduate, the GPA, SAT, all the information that a student has when they walk in the door. And then we develop predictive analytics around that so we can make sure that when a student walks in the door, we have the infrastructure that they need to be successful based on what we see in their data before they come in. And then once they get here, we track all the academic um, successes or failure. We know if they're first generation, how much debt they have, if they work in second jobs, all that stuff that may impact them completing their degree and what we say is four or less years. Then each advisor has, it's a mandate that they see a student three times a semester at the start of semester, mid-semester, and at the end. And they have to comment on what their conversations are with that particular students. And we use that data then to do a predictive analytic model on engagement. How many times do we really need to see a student to make sure that they are uh, successful? Or if they got off the path, what was the interventions along the way? And then lastly, there's, there's a couple more slides, um, tasks, but the student analytics tab is the best tab in the world. And that tab tells us early alerts. This student didn't come to class. They are making C's on their last two tests. Um, they are partying. You know, they got a traditional problem. So it gives us all that information. And again, we throw that into a model that says, OK, we got to do some intervention. And what is that in intervention? And do, th did we do it just in time? And after that, we have an advisor analytics. And that's where we judge, did the advisors do what they said they would do? Did we hold up our end of the deal saying, if you admit it and you do these things, we will do these things. And again, all of this is around predicted analytics. So since I only had three slides, you see I put a whole lot of stuff on the slides, right? Um, so, so not only do they have a my DSU ID, IDP, but they also have a journey map. And this journey map, when a student walks in, here is your journey, okay? So we try to keep them on a journey if they make a shop right. How do we get them back over there? So we, this summer, we're developing both of those things in apps because 98% of our students have telephones. They might not have iPads or computers, but they do have telephones. And all this will be just in time, every day, every minute, where I am in, in my career. So. The graph over there to the left is one of my favorites because we're able to predict before they walk, they walk in the door their likelihood of success. And you can see, we can predict, I think, 83% before they walk into the door. And then the beginning of the first semester, 97%, the likelihood that they're gonna be successful. And so, may, you may not know, I'm also a CFO, CIO, all those COs, uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm sure some, some other letters they probably call me. But these, these last two are my favorites because I am responsible for the money. So what I do is translate all this retention graduation to dollars to make sure we're sustainable. So if you see, if we change nothing else but retention, 
we will increase our revenue probably about $3 million fairly, fairly easy without changing anything else. And if we have a student take 1.5 more credit hours, they would graduate 60%. We can increase our four-year graduation rate by 60%. And we've been doing that for the last three years. We have gone from 62, when I entered, when I started at Dell State, the retention was 62. It's gone up uh, 1,000 basis points. It is 72 now, and I go next year is 77. So again, we have developed plans for our students to be successful because it is personal for DSU. Okay. <laughs>